Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create orbiting particles using an attractor force. In this new MT project, I'm going to go and create a sphere because I want to emit from the surface of this sphere. And with the sphere selected, I'm going to go to the simulate and go to the emitters and select a mesh emitter. I'm going to set the emission mode to shot. I'm going to shoot only 100 particles. And I'm going to go to the properties and make sure that the velocity, which is speed plus direction, is not in the normal direction, but it's uh, random. So now we are going to get a bunch of particles that are going in all sorts of random directions. And just to make this a bit more interesting, I'm going to set my frame range to 900 frames. So now let's go and add from the forces an attractor force. I'm going to set it to be constant. And uh, because I don't want it to affect the particles that are in the middle, let me show you what I mean. If I make the sphere invisible and rewind and press play, you will see that a lot of particles try to converge down right through the center. And I just want to make these particles not always be attracted to the bare center. So I'm going to make this attractor force not to have an effect somewhere here in the middle. And the best way to do that is go to the field list and add a spherical field. And because uh, this now has maximum inside and minimum outside, I'm just going to go and add the invert layer. So now we have a maximum outside and minimum inside. So now if I rewind and press play, you will see that we get a slightly better orbiting effect. Now to visualize this a bit better, let's go and select the particle group and let's go to the MoGraph menu and put them under a tracer and make sure that we have from end with around 15 frames so we can see a little trail of the particle motion. And now you can see that the particles are moving around. And this is pretty much uh, the effect. But if you want to enhance it a bit, uh, there are various fun things you could do. One of them is to go and add an extra turbulence force. And uh, let's go and increase the values a bit here and add some uh, noise as well. But I want this only to apply right here in the center, just to make the particles uh, wiggle a bit when they're inside the close proximity of uh, the attractor. So just go to fields and use the same spherical field, but without the invert. So now what you're going to see is that the particles, when they go inside here, they're going to deviate a bit. And you can see that some of them gain some velocity and go further. And if you want to mitigate this and control it somewhat, you can go and add a friction with the default settings, rewind, press play. And now you may have a more interesting orbiting effect where the particles seem to have a bit of an opinion where they need to go and play around with the turbulence settings to fine tune this. And uh, you will see that you will get quite an interesting effect. And uh, that's how you create orbiting particles using an attractor. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.